making birthday cake donut holes with my donut hole maker from Bella. So this recipe is a copycat of the Tim Hortons birthday cake Timbits, which are my favorite, and this is only half a recipe, so feel free to double it or triple it. But I just want to make a few Timbits for today, or donut holes. So I have half a cup of sugar, half a stick of butter softened, one egg, half a cup of milk, um, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, one eighth of a teaspoon of salt, three-fourths of a teaspoon of baking powder, and one-eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda, a bit of sparkles. I don't have my colorful sparkles. I only have these pink, white, and red, but that'll do. You'll need a bit of uh, vanilla, and you'll need three-fourths of a cup of cake flour sifted. And click above just so you can see my video on how to make your own cake flour. So let's get started on making these donut holes. In our bowl, we're going to mix together the butter, the egg, and the sugar. Butter, sugar, and one egg. And just mix it until it becomes creamy. That's how the egg and sugar and butter mixture should look like when it's creamed. And we're going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla, our cinnamon, salt, baking powder and baking soda and just give that a good mix on slow so you don't make a mess and now we're going to alternate our milk and our cake flour into the mixture so just about half each time alright so that's what our donut hole mixture should look like and now you can add your colorful sprinkles, but I just have these ones here, the pink, red, and white ones. And that should be fine. So I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of that. We're ready to start baking this in the Bella Donut Hole Baker. All right, so I plugged in my donut maker and it's already heated up. So once you plug in yours, you'll see the yellow light. You can't really tell on the camera but you'll see the yellow light flash and the green light will be, there'll be no light. Once it's properly heated, you'll have both the yellow and the green light on. So it's very hot, so please be careful. What I like to do before getting started is getting a paper towel and putting a little bit of butter and just on every single donut hole thing, just putting a little bit of butter just to grease it up. And same thing with the top. It's already a non-stick surface, but this just helps in my opinion. So now we have our dough that we just made and a soup spoon. And I'm just going to fill up the little cavities just about, I don't know, a third of an inch to the top. I'll show you. You kind of have to work a little quickly with this. I should probably get another spoon. Okay, now you quickly put the lid down and you cook it for about three to four minutes, exactly. So we'll be back in three to four minutes. So it's been about four minutes and I'm gonna lift it up gently. Perfect. And I have a clean spoon here. And I'm just gonna pop it out like so. See? And I'm just putting it on my cooling rack. Some of them are perfect like this one, and some of them I didn't quite put enough, but that's all right. I'm just going to flip that over, flip that over. just finishing up my last batch it just has one inside Let's see if it's ready yeah, it's pretty much done flip it over let it cook on that side 
And I've already tried a couple, and honestly, they're delicious. See? Beautiful little donut holes. Now you can put a little glaze on it that's just um, white powdered sugar and milk or cream, and you just roll them in it. But I personally like it just like this. Nothing sticky and it's not as sweet. The glaze tends to make this a little too sweet for me.